In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you some basic cloth simulation with Cinema 4D 2023. In this version of Cinema, simulations are way better and calculate pretty quickly compared to the old ones. First thing we need is something to turn into cloth. So I'm going to start with a basic plane here. We will need way more segments to get those nice ripples and foldings. So let's put 200 on the width and with the height as well. I'm also going to change the display here to hidden line so we can see our segments. Now we will add a cloth tag on the plane. So right click, simulation tags, cloth. If we hit play, it's going to fall, so we have to turn off gravity. Hit control plus D, and here on your project settings, go to the simulation tab and the scene button here, and put the gravity to zero. If we hit play, nothing is happening because there is no force acting on this plane. Let's add a turbulence force. For that, go to simulate here, forces and choose turbulence. So what I want to do to have more details is to add two different turbulence forces, one with a small scale and the other one with a bigger scale. The scale is acting like a noise and the frequency is how fast this noise is undulating on the plane. So let's put some small values here. Strength at two centimeters, scale at 10% and the frequency at 6%. Now let's duplicate this turbulence and put some bigger values. For instance, 20 centimeters for the strength, 35% for the scale, and 30% for the frequency. Don't hesitate to play with your own values. We start to have something interesting. To have thickness and more resolution, we can add a cloth surface that you will find under the subdivision surface here. Put a thickness of 0.2 centimeters. Deactivate it now so the simulation plays faster, and we will reactivate it before rendering. If we want more control over the simulation, we can add fields to our forces. So choose the big turbulence, go to the fields tab here, and add a spherical field. Now you see that the influence of the turbulence is only in the middle, and then it spreads to the rest of the plane. Let's decrease it a bit. Okay, next I want to add a rotation force. So go to Simulate Forces Rotation. If I increase the angle speed and hit play, Everything is rotating around the z-axis of this rotation object. So if I rotate this 90 degrees on the pitch, I will have the effect I'm looking for. Add a spherical field like the turbulence one and decrease it. Now we have some cool effects on our plane. Before rendering, I'm just going to add a subdivision surface here before the cloth surface to have more details. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you have learned something today and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you on the next video.